What was C-O-I-N-T-E-L-P-R-O? Counterintelligence Program? FBI Agent William C. Sullivan and J. Edgar Hoover? Summary COINTELPRO is syllabic abbreviation derived from Counterintelligence Program. William Cornelius Sullivan was a Federal Bureau of Investigation official who directed the agency's domestic intelligence operations. John Edgar Hoover served as the first director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, is the domestic intelligence and security service of the United States and its principal federal law enforcement agency. Let's learn details. COINTELPRO was a series of covert and illegal projects conducted by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation aimed at surveilling, infiltrating, discrediting, and disrupting domestic American political organizations. FBI records show COINTELPRO resources targeted groups and individuals the FBI deemed subversive, including feminist organizations, the Communist Party USA, anti-Vietnam War organizers activists of the civil rights movement or black power movement, environmentalist, and animal rights organizations, the American Indian movement, independence movements, and a variety of organizations that were part of the broader New Left and unrelated groups such as the Ku Klux Klan. The FBI has used covert operations against domestic political groups since its inception, however, Covert operations under the official COINTELPRO label took place between 1956 and 1971. COINTELPRO tactics are still used to this day and have been alleged to include discrediting targets through psychological warfare, smearing individuals and groups using forged documents and by planting false reports in the media, harassment, wrongful imprisonment, and illegal violence, including assassination. According to a Senate report, the FBI's motivation was protecting national security, preventing violence, and maintaining the existing social and political order. Beginning in 1969, leaders of the Black Panther Party were targeted by the COINTELPRO and neutralized by being assassinated, imprisoned, publicly humiliated, or falsely charged with crimes. Some of the Black Panthers affected included Fred Hampton, Mark Clark, Zaid Shakur, Geronimo Pratt, Mumia Abu-Jamal, and Marshall Conway. Common tactics used by COINTELPRO were perjury, witness harassment, witness intimidation, and withholding of evidence. FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover issued directives governing COINTELPRO, ordering FBI agents to expose, disrupt, misdirect, discredit, or otherwise neutralize the activities of these movements, and especially their leaders. Under Hoover, the agent in charge of COINTELPRO was William C. Sullivan. Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy personally authorized some of the programs, giving written approval for limited wiretapping of Martin Luther King's phones on a trial basis, for a month or so. Hoover extended the clearance so his men were unshackled to look for evidence in any areas of King's life they deemed worthy. Who was J. Edgar Hoover? John Edgar Hoover was an American law enforcement administrator who served as the first director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation of the United States. He was appointed director of the Bureau of Investigation, the FBI's predecessor in 1924 and was instrumental in founding the FBI in 1935, where he remained director for another 37 years until his death in 1972 at the age of 77. Hoover has been credited with building the FBI into a larger crime-fighting agency than it was at its inception and with instituting a number of modernizations to police technology, such as a centralized fingerprint file and forensic laboratories. Hoover is also credited with establishing and expanding a national blacklist, referred to as the FBI Index or Index List, renamed in 2001 as the Terrorist Screening Database which the FBI still compiles and manages. Later in life and after his death, Hoover became a controversial figure as evidence of his secret of abuses of power began to surface. He was found to have exceeded the jurisdiction of the FBI and to have used the FBI to harass political dissenters and activists, 
to amass secret files on political leaders, and to collect evidence using illegal methods. Hoover consequently amassed a great deal of power and was in a position to intimidate and threaten others, including multiple sitting presidents of the United States. Who was William C. Sullivan? William Cornelius Sullivan was a Federal Bureau of Investigation official who directed the agency's domestic intelligence operations from 1961 to 1971. Sullivan was forced out of the FBI at the end of September 1971 due to disagreements with FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover. The following year, Sullivan was appointed as the head of the Justice Department's new Office of National Narcotics Intelligence, which he led from June 1972 to July 1973. Sullivan died in a hunting accident in 1977. His memoir of his 30-year career in the FBI, written with journalist Bill Brown, was published posthumously by commercial publisher W. W. Norton and Company in 1979. Sullivan became vocal about Hoover's controversial domestic counterintelligence programs, collectively labeled COINTELPRO, including operations that he himself had conceived and administered. In 1975, he testified before the Senate Intelligence Committee, Never once did I hear anybody, including myself, raise the question, is this course of action which we have agreed upon lawful, is it legal, is it ethical or moral? Sullivan died age 65 from an accidental gunshot wound. What is FBI? The Federal Bureau of Investigation is the domestic intelligence and security service of the United States and its principal federal law enforcement agency. Operating under the jurisdiction of the United States Department of Justice, the FBI is also a member of the U.S. intelligence community and reports to both the Attorney General and the Director of National Intelligence. A leading U.S. counterterrorism, counterintelligence, and criminal investigative organization, the FBI has jurisdiction over violations of more than 200 categories of federal crimes. Despite its domestic focus, the FBI also maintains a significant international footprint, operating 60 legal attaché offices and 15 sub-offices in U.S. embassies and consulates across the globe. Hashtag COINTELPRO, FBI, Counterintelligence Program, William C. Sullivan and J. Edgar Hoover. What was COINTELPRO? Counterintelligence Program? FBI agent William C. Sullivan and J. Edgar Hoover